sync. Okay, so whenever I bring up the topic of um, supply and demand with regards to animal agriculture, I sometimes hear people say something along the lines of, yeah, well, if we didn't eat these farm animals, then they'll go extinct. And right out of the gate, I want to point out that's completely disingenuous. Um, I don't believe that anybody eats animals because they're afraid of cows going extinct. But even if that is some hypothetical person's reason for eating animals, um, I hope to point out in this video why that's a pretty bad idea. Chickens are a pretty good example. Broiler chickens are the kind of chicken that are bred for their flesh. Um, and they're killed at about 14 weeks old, but even rescue broiler chickens die at about two years old because of heart problems caused by their weight. But their rapid growth also causes problems in their 14 weeks of life anyway. Because their body grows so fast, they weigh a lot early on in life and their bones cannot bear the weight of their own body. So because their bones are broken, they'll spend their entire lives on a barn floor, which will cause grazing and burns on their breasts. Laying hens lay about 300 eggs per year, which understandably puts a lot of strain on their bodies. The nutrients which are used to form the egg come from inside of the hen's body. In particular, the calcium in the eggshells causes the hen's bones to become brittle. This is why many rescue chickens get implants to stop them from laying any more eggs. Now I could go on about all of the problems that farm animals face, uh, but that would take a really long time. Uh, instead, I've linked to a pretty great documentary in description down below, it's called Land of Hope and Glory. This topic is pretty similar to how a lot of people feel about breeding pugs. I'm sure you've all heard the slogan, adopt, don't shop. And a lot of people consider it cruel to breed pugs because of all the health problems that they face. Now, I think it's fair to say that the average pug is treated a lot better than the average chicken. And yet most people uh, don't see a problem with breeding chickens but are against breeding pugs. Because with dogs, they're able to see that it's cruel to impose these health conditions onto somebody when it hinders their quality of life. I remember at the end of 2017 and um, a couple years before that, somebody called Richard Spencer tried to make the argument that slavery was good for black people um, because there were some people now who live in the US and enjoy a better quality of life than they would have had if their ancestors had never gone to America. Which is obviously a completely outrageous thing to say, but it is a very similar train of reasoning that's being used um, to people who are saying that animals should be grateful because we wouldn't be breeding them in the first place if people didn't eat them. And finally, non-vegan diets are killing animals on an enormous scale. And before you say, oh yeah, that's just what they're bred for, I'm not just talking about farm animals. Largely due to climate change and deforestation, which is done to grow plants to feed animals, we are in the middle of a mass extinction event. According to WWF in their paper, Appetite for Destruction, animal agriculture is responsible for destroying up to 60% of biodiversity. So with species actively going extinct because people want to eat animals, it's pretty hypocritical to pretend to care about domestic cows going extinct. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that one there. Um, if you agreed with me, if you disagreed with me, let me know in the comment section down below the video. If you're more sorted than that, you can leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And yeah, this has been a Broke Early video, and I'll talk to you next time.